So the, the focus of cancer treatment in the last 10 years has really shifted from um, using drugs that kill the cancer cell or attack the cancer cell more towards using drugs that activate the immune system so that the immune system can do its job, which is not only to fight infections, but also to fight cancer. So if you keep this in mind, you know, the necessity, the need to have tools that monitor the immune system in this new generation of clinical trials is a must. Um, so in the past, one of the main well-established tools to monitor immune cells in a patient's blood, for example, um, is using an assay called flow cytometry. Um, in, in a nutshell, flow cytometry works by adding markers on top of cells and you know, running these cells on a fluidic system and then taking pictures um, or measuring how much light, um, fluorescent light, each cell emits after they are excited with a little laser. So that you know that depending on what color that, that cell shines off of it, you know which markers are present in that cell and that gives the cell an identity. So different kinds of immune cells can be quantified and, and, and measured that way. Um, the problem when measuring light in this context is that you can only see, the machine can only really see so many colors. Um, so the, those kind of instruments you know, are, are getting better and better every day, but there's still a limit of maybe between five to eight colors that what I would call the typical flow cytometry assay can measure. There are obviously different flow cytometry instruments and now can measure multiple um, different colors up to 30 or more, but those are very rare and not readily available. Um, so with this in mind, a new system came um, into um, you know, commercial use for research primarily um, in the past uh, 10 years, and that's a new but related technology called mass cytometry. So just like flow cytometry, mass cytometry also is meant to measure cells or measure characteristics of cells. And it's also very useful to monitor immune system cells just like flow cytometry is. But the main difference between these two systems is uh, the mass cytometry doesn't really measure the light or that the cell emits, but rather it measures the mass um, that a cell has because it has been tagged with an antibody. And that antibody is a special antibody because it carries with it a little piece of a heavy metal uh, that is not present in biological tissues. Um, so by measuring mass, mass cytometry is able to see more colors, quote unquote, um, than a regular flow cytometry instrument is. So this gives us the chance to measure in one assay 30 or more markers uh, in a much more easy way than it is with flow cytometry. So what does that really mean for the patient or for the researcher who's doing immunotherapy research today? Um, one of the main differences from the perspective of the, of the patient is uh, by using this new technology in which we're measuring more parameters or more information on a single cell basis, you're able to take less amount of blood from the patient for the same amount of information. So you can measure you know, 30, 40 different kinds of immune cells in the same tube. While if you, if you tried in the past to measure the same amount of cells, you probably would need five or more tubes of blood to give the same amount of information. So simply from the perspective of the patient, that decreases uh, the number of you know, blood one is uh, necessary to give to get enough information about the immune system, which is very important. But that's really not all. I mean, from the perspective of the researcher, having all the information present in the same tube also gives the researcher an opportunity to find novel combinations of markers that was not possible to be seen, uh, quote unquote, before because they were being measured in separate assays. Um, so that way, we're now using drugs that are changing the immune system uh, in multiple ways. So unlike uh, many of the previous treatment which was given and targeted a particular cell, we're now giving treatments that change the immune system in different ways. So we may increase the proportion of one immune cell population 
while at the same time decreasing the proportion of another immune cell population. So measuring all the possible immune cells at the same time would be critical to find out which is the best treatment to give the patient and how should we monitor the response on those patients who are treated with this you know, immunotherapy approach. So this is really the main difference of what we're trying to do here, which is to, for patients being treated with immunotherapies or therapies that affect the immune system, we're trying to systematically monitor how these therapies are affecting the patient's immune cells uh, in the most comprehensive way possible. And among the technologies um, that are currently available, uh, mass cytometry or CYTOP immune monitoring um, seems to be uh, the most useful tool. Um, and we now have that uh, available for our Mayo Clinic researchers at the Immune Monitoring Corps uh, here in Rochester, which is also accessible to all the three Mayo Clinic sites.